Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, just wanna say I'm very sick at the moment. So please ignore the croaky throat, the tired eyes and everything that comes with it. Um, but I'm powering through and I really wanted to film this video for you. So hopefully you can just work with this right now because it's not budging. So today's video is gonna be a little styling haul. I try to keep in mind pieces that most people might have in their wardrobe. So just like really easy to wear pieces like jeans, blazers, shirts, t-shirts, and all of that. So hopefully you'll get some outfit inspiration from this video. I've tried to keep most of the outfits really like wearable day-to-day -day outfits because when I'm looking for outfits, well, that's what I look for. So I'm gonna aim to start up seven outfits so an outfit for each day of the week. But let's just see how we get on. I've not pre-planned the outfits. I'm just gonna wing it. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the outfit I've got on. The sound of my voice is even annoying me, so I really apologize if this is annoying. But let's just work with it. So I have got a handbag somewhere. So look number one, I'm gonna insert photos here because I really struggled to get all of me in the frame. So hopefully you can see from the cutaway a little bit better. But this little waistcoat and blazer combo is new in my wardrobe and I'm completely obsessed. They're both from Karen Millen. I do believe they come with matching trousers, but I think they were like a wide leg trouser that you'd kind of need a heel with and I just didn't think I'd get the wear out of that. But this color, it's so beautiful and the shape and the fit is just unmatched. Like I'm completely, completely obsessed. Start them with a relaxed pant. I love tailoring with relaxed pieces. I just love the mix of tailored blazers or coats or shirts with like relaxed trousers or tracksuits. So I love relaxed pieces with tailoring. I love like a long tailored coat with a tracksuit or a blazer with some relaxed pants. I just love the mix of the two. So you'll see throughout a lot of my outfits that I try and aim to wear like one piece of tailoring and then I try and make the rest a little bit more casual unless I need to dress up. But these pants are great. They're from Good American and I bought them from Outnet. The Outnet is so underrated. I found so many good pieces from the Outnet. I've not done a little shop on there for a while, but they now stock Good American. So these pants have actually been in my wardrobe for a little while. And I just love like the dusty grey colour. And then I've paired them with my Gabby trainers. I'm not going to lie, I haven't actually got much wear out of these. But I literally have no excuse. They're such a great colour and I just feel like they're a little bit different. I don't even know if you can see properly. Um... But they're a super cool trainer and it's nice to wear something other than my new balances for once but i just thought this was a really easy go-to look because i'm comfortable i still look put together and i feel like this is a look i can take from day to night i can literally swap out my trainers for a pair of heels and it will transform the whole look but i'm obsessed i'm also obsessed with this little combo i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this blazer and waistcoat this would also look great with just jeans tailored pant cargo trousers so very happy with this new purchase so this is look number one okay look number two i was actually lying in bed last night don't know if anyone else does this <laughs> but i was lying in bed last night couldn't sleep i just randomly go through items that were in my wardrobe and think how i can wear them so for example i've had this blue shirt in my wardrobe for so long never worn it and I don't know why, because blue shirt is so easy to style. I just haven't styled it up. So I was lying in bed last night thinking about it. And I actually wrote in my notes, blue shirt, black skirt, trainers. <laughs> so this is the look. So as well as creating this video for you, I'm also creating this video for me. Because lately I've just been really struggling to find like day-to-day -day outfits that aren't too casual and aren't too dressed up. So I'm trying to find a happy medium. And I feel like this outfit is perfect and if you do work in the office or just want something a little bit more dressed up you can just swap the trainers for heels or a pair of heeled boots and i feel like this is such a great night or office look so i feel like most people have maxi skirts in their wardrobe at the moment but of course if you're not into this whole maxi skirt trend you can just swap these for a pair of black trousers and it will create the same look so this one is from zara it's 
sold out but i will link similar and then this blue shirt is from Source Unknown. But again, I will link an alternative because I believe this one is also sold out. But I feel like a blue shirt for spring is such a wardrobe essential. Just a really easy look that I actually think I'm gonna wear this week because I've got a few events. And I feel like this is such a good running around, still chic kind of outfit. So my not being able to sleep at the moment is doing me wonders because <laughs> I think of good outfits and there's nothing better than a good outfit in your head being good in real life. So this next look has been my go-to look lately when I'm having a outfit struggle. One, I always just go for all black if I'm struggling to find something to wear. I just feel like it's an easy option and I feel like all black always looks super chic and ever since i've got this silk slip skirt in my wardrobe it's all i've been wearing because one it's comfortable and i'm a sucker for anything comfortable and two i just feel like it looks effortless and it's just super easy to style and super easy to wear so if you haven't got one of these skirts in your wardrobe i would highly recommend investing in one especially with spring coming up i feel like they are a great transitional piece i've actually just seen the most beautiful cream silk one i think on uh, and other stories it's currently sold out though so i'm keeping my eye out on that but i styled it just with a plain black jumper and an oversized leather blazer and then my trusty black boots i love a heel that i can take from day to night i know i keep referring from day to night but I love versatile looks and majority of my days usually go into evenings so I really need outfits that will take me from whatever I'm doing in the day to the evening. And you'll probably notice I never really wear super high heels, I only wear a small heel so most of my heels are great for the day because they're really not high and that's what I love about them. And again, I actually wore this look the other day with trainers and a blazer as well. So underneath it's just a really great, simple base layer that you can style so many different ways. And I can't wait for spring when I can just wear this black skirt with like a little tank top and sandals and a blazer. I'm just so ready for spring. <laughs> so yeah, look number three, you've probably seen me in it a lot of times because it's all I've been wearing lately. So this next look is for my tracksuit girlies. As much as I love tailoring, a lot of my days really does just need to involve a tracksuit. I'm on the sofa a lot of the time, just on my laptop or I'm running errands, and I just wanna wear a tracksuit, but I still wanna look chic. And my go-to way to do that is add a tailored coat. As I mentioned before, I love laid back looks with a piece of tailoring and this has been my like go-to chilled look what camel just makes everything look so much more expensive and put together so i've just got this tracksuit on from adelona i've got my new balances on and i've just whacked over this tailored camel coat which kind of just pulls in the look together and I don't feel scruffy even though I'm in the tracksuit so this is such a wearable look if you are a tracksuit girl but still want to look a little bit put together I recommend investing in a good camel coat and a grey tracksuit because that combo together that is an absolute chef's kiss I love it and I feel like it's underrated and then just finish your look off with a pair of sunglasses and you're good to go. My go-to sunglasses are these. They are from Vila Thaler. Never know how you pronounce it. But it's such an affordable sunglasses brand. And out of all my designer sunglasses, I probably reach for these the most. I feel like they finish off any outfit. So if you are looking for some affordable sunglasses, highly recommend checking them out because majority of my sunglasses are from there and I believe pretty much every frame is around a hundred pound and for the quality that is amazing. So I've tried my very best not to style every look with 
an oversized blazer <laughs> as you probably know i just literally live in them but they're just so easy to wear so easy to style and i don't think i will ever get bored of the trend one thing everyone i assume <laughs> has in their wardrobe is a pair of light denim jeans especially for spring coming up now so i've got a really itchy throat <laughs> Especially with spring coming up now, light denim jeans are an absolute must. These I actually bought from H&M quite recently, so I think they'll still be in stock, but they are such a great jean. I just, I can't warm to the skinny jean thing. My body shape just don't suit skinny jeans, so I'm all for a baggy boyfriend fit or a mum jean. So these are great because they fit great around the waist cinch you in but then they've still got the loose fit and they were super affordable they were from h&m i think they're around 25 99 and then i'll just start it with a gray t-shirt and an oversized cream blazer of course i will link alternatives because as i mentioned i'm trying to style pieces that are already in my wardrobe so a lot of these pieces might be out of stock but i will link similar pieces that you can shop in case you want to so this is just a really easy look that i always fall back to an oversized blazer a loose baggy tee some mum jeans and then these boots which are from zara they have honestly been such a great purchase again as i mentioned earlier i don't like a high hill <laughs> and these are like a good day hill and it's so hard to find good cream hills that won't cost you, cost you your whole month's rent. <laughs> so these are for $35.99 and if they're in stock and you're on the market for a cream boot, I highly recommend purchasing these because I've worn them so much. I just love a chilled lay back look like this one. This is like one of my go-to looks that you'll probably see me in over and over again. And of course, if you don't like everything oversized like me, <laughs> you can swap out the oversized tee for a fitted t-shirt or a biker jacket so it shows more shape but me personally i just love my clothes drowning me <laughs> so i've actually lost count what outfit we're on i want to say either number six or are we on the last one i don't actually know i'm gonna have to look back <laughs> an item i have been loving recently not even just recently probably for like the last eight months is a cargo jean and these ones are so good and every time I wear them, I get so many questions asking me where they're from. They are mango. They are quite old, but it was in the store the other day. Sorry, I use my hands so much. Um, I was in the store the other day, and they've re-brought them out. They're not exact the same, but they basically are. I think the buttons are just different. And it also comes with a matching shirt. So I will link that below because I cannot tell you how happy I was to see it back in stock. But I wanted to include a look that includes cargo jeans because it's been a huge trend that has been around for a little while. And for me, a khaki pair of pants is an absolute essential in your wardrobe. Khaki is pretty much the only colour <laughs> other than blue in my wardrobe currently. I do wear a bit of colour in summer, but throughout winter and spring, I just can't face colour. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but there is literally no colour other than khaki and blue in my wardrobe, which is quite a good thing because all my pieces go perfectly together. But this is my idea of colour. And khaki just goes so well with so many different colours. Another great piece to have in your wardrobe. I've just started with a cream sweater. To be honest, this whole look is actually from Mango. So I've started with a high neck cream sweater. And then I have also got my granddad style slippers on, which I know aren't for everyone. But I'm trying to find shoes that aren't just trainers or heeled boots. And I just love these. I love things that are a little bit ugly. <laughs> um, and then I would just work over an oversized black blazer or even a coat, depending how cold it is. And it's just another super chill laid back look that I always go back to. And that is super easy to create. Okay, so we're on to the seventh and final look which is probably a good thing because I think my voice is completely about to go and I can only imagine how 
Annoying, this is for you. So I've tried to be versatile with this video and these looks. So I've tried to style each look with a different staple piece that you might have in your wardrobe. So we've had a maxi skirt, we've had jeans, we've had tracksuit. What else have we had? We've had a floaty skirt, we've had cargo jeans, and now we've got a suit. A suit is my absolute go-to. And I am trying to keep in mind people that might work in an office and maybe have to dress a little smarter. I just want this video to be for everyone. So, a few things I love. <laughs> One, a suit. Two, layering. And three, knitwear with tailoring. So, this look kind of has it all for me. These pants are actually H&M, and again, I think they've brought them, they've re brought them out. They do look a tiny bit different, but that might be a good thing. Because this, these ones fit a little funny, <laughs> which is such a shame because they're such a great pant. But I just feel like the crotch area is very small. Um, so I will link the new version that I've come out because they're such a great trouser. This actually isn't a matching suit, but it basically looks it. But I do think the H&M one does come with a matching blazer too. When I create outfits, I always try and stick to three colours at most. I feel like anything more than three colours, it just looks a little bit too hectic and messy for my liking. So I've kept it a bit neutral. We have a grey t-shirt underneath. I love oversized t-shirts layered underneath like knitwear and shirts. I think it just makes an outfit a little bit more interesting. So I've got just an oversized grey t-shirt and then layered on top I've got this sweater from Pull and Bear. I say it every time I wear it but honestly it's one of my best purchases. It's such a good knit and it was so reasonably priced. But again just another really easy look to create which has been my aim here. Just looks that everyone can create. Because if you're like me there's so many looks on the internet that I love and that I would love to wear but they're just not practical for me. Majority of the time I'm running around and I cannot be wearing half these outfits I want to be wearing. <laughs> so I always try and wear something comfortable, something that still looks put together, but also laid back because it's my preference. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope, I hope I've counted right. <laughs> but I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that I've just been groggy and ill feel like I've lost my train of thought halfway through this video. <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed these looks and I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me. I know I've been doing a lot of hauls and you seem to be enjoying them. But, but I never want you guys to feel pressure that you have to constantly buy new things to create good looks. So this is one of the reasons I wanted to film this video to show you that, that you can create super laid back easy to wear outfits with items you already have in your wardrobe but I'm gonna go and make hot tea and lemon <laughs> and take some paracetamol but as always I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please comment like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video hopefully not sounding like a frog <laughs>